Bitcoin 10,359. I was going to make another really bigger and more artsy and impressive Elmo on fire, but I'm dead tired. <laughs> I've been in meetings all day and I just got off the plane. I just came home not too long ago and try to run through and, and fill as many analysis requests as possible. <clears throat> but look at this. Man, oh man, oh man. Beautiful. Let me give it some of these markings. <coughs> That's been hit. Old news. Not too bad here so far. But I think we're going to go maybe 10,800. Keep raising the bar. Relabel. I'll give it the subwaves. Makes it too messy. <coughs> Let's redo this. Three. Oops. Four. And this is five, so I'll relabel. Got one, <coughs> two, three, four, five. Well, <coughs> looking better every day. <laughs> and not too long ago, some analysts were calling the top. <coughs> Interesting. All right, that looks a lot better now. New projection. <coughs> and frankly, I wouldn't be surprised if that succeeded as well. Let me just take a picture of this. Now let's go to, no. I'm surprised no one's come out and called me a crazy nuthead for this. Oh, I didn't save it. Hold on a second. But regardless, let's let's take a look at this one here.
So here's another trend channel that we can look at. And this comes from November 13th. That this is the ABC. Closing one, two, three. One, two. We could still be on wave three. <laughs> Could still be on wave three. So what we would see is a one, two, three, four, five. Potentially. But you know what, this is, something's wrong here. It just doesn't, the form and fit one and two is just out of place. And that had been sticking out a little bit earlier too, so. I think um, we can label it maybe this way. One, two, three, four, five. Still right at right around the same. So after hitting, let's say, maybe 11,000 or so, 11,153, we can maybe get a wave 4 correction. But there's no guarantee for that correction. <laughs> Especially if this upper line is breached. Then we've got a different bullish story. But let's keep it for like this for now. And I do know also that mean reversion is a law that happens. When I, I mean, if you look at standard deviations, when you are like three or four or five standard deviations out, let's say price just spikes crazy. It can't, it's not sustainable. But this is very orderly. This is not, I'm not seeing flame outs. It doesn't mean that it won't revert to the mean. Also, it will. But it just probably won't be as violent. What, I'm, what I mean by that, what I mean by that is, Let's say, and I'm not going to pull it up, but I'm just going to. Draw it. Let's say the 200 day moving average or 100 day, whatever moving average you want to use is here. And price is getting further and further away. Say the two, okay. Price is getting farther and farther away. Well, it's going to revert to the mean. But how it reverses is a, is a very different story. When it reverses violently in a crash, well, screw that. <laughs> but when it reverses, when it goes up orderly and reverts towards the mean, let's say during this correction, 
in an orderly, orderly fashion as well, then it allows the moving average to catch up to it. So it, it, it truncates the gap. This is not. This is a really ugly line, I know. But it truncates the gap. So a good healthy correction will allow the uh, um, moving average to catch up to it. And we're not seeing right now like three, four, five st st um, st standard deviation of the price away from the mean. Okay. So it's been a long day for me. I've done. I've tried to catch up as many of the analysis requests. I'm dead tired. I'm going to bed. And let's see what happens overnight. I'm very, very happy for the uh, 10K plus now for Bitcoin. And as I've said before, and I'll say one more time, something big is coming. I don't know what it is. I don't know what news or event, but something huge is about to happen. As I say, I think it's already started. Do you remember that popcorn that I, example I gave you? These poppings are going to be the sign of explosions, bomb explosions. Never mind popcorn. Okay. It'll be like someone putting a match into a kettle of grenades. <laughs> and soon, I think, we'll see a reason, an event, news, something to explain. And usually, the news will come after it starts. Something big is coming. There's going to be a huge, huge price event. And we're going to see it on the upward sign. It's going to be massive. When you've got the backdrop of altcoins giving these three primary species of extremely bullish patterns and Elliott wave indications, massive profits can be made. So keep this in mind. You might want to take pictures of these because if you get scared of a small correction, this can maybe help you. <laughs> and this has been keeping my uh, assessment consistent and constant because I, I just couldn't ignore these. I don't know how and I, I, I'm proud to say, I, have, I did a quick scan, no one else, no other analyst has come up with this, of what I just explained to you, the speciation of the pattern and then the early waves. Not that I know of. I did a scan, I haven't seen any analysts come up with these three types of speciations. And that's why I think observation is key. And um, it also could be possible that when Bitcoin corrects, the altcoins will just keep chugging up. That'll be non-phasic in a good way for the altcoins. But we'll see. We'll see how it plays out. All right, everybody. Have a good night. I'll talk to you in the morning.